color brightly shine. In their first full day of orbit, Discovery Commander Steve Lindsay and his crewmates got their uh, ship ready for its docking to the International Space Station. The crew completed the routine Flight Day 2 inspection of the thermal protection system of the space shuttle using the orbiter boom sensor system in the grip of the space shuttle's robotic arm to survey the reinforced carbon-carbon panels and the heat shield tiles on the starboard and port wings of the shuttle, as well as the nose cap, looking for any evidence of uh, damage from debris, either from during ascent or uh, while the shuttle has been on orbit. That information is in the hands of specialists at the Johnson Space Center who will be studying it to see if there's any evidence of such damage or whether there's any need for any areas of the shuttle to have some uh, later, more focused inspection. Along with that, the crew members also completed the checkout of the spacesuits that will be worn by astronauts Steve Bowen and Al Drew during two spacewalks next week as the uh, shuttle crew members complete their assembly and maintenance work on the International Space Station. Crew has also completed the uh, installation of a centerline camera in the orbiter docking system and extended the docking ring on the ODS to prepare it for its rendezvous. Both early in the day and late in the crew's day, Commander Steve Lindsay and pilot Eric Bowe completed a firing of the shuttle's reaction control system jets to refine Discovery's approach to the International Space Station. The NC-2 burn and the NC-3 burns are putting Discovery on a precise trajectory designed to reach the International Space Station at 1.15 Central Time on Saturday afternoon. Good burn. Discovery, no further trim required. During the course of the day, early on, the uh, crew also got a call from their additional crewmate, Mission Specialist Tim Copra, original member of the STS-133 crew, who was unable to uh, make the flight due to uh, injuries suffered in a bicycle accident in January. He spent some time in the control room today and uh, took a moment to uh, talk to his friends on orbit. Hey, Steve, uh, Tim, I just wanted to tell you guys you all had an awesome launch, and we're all very proud of you down here. Uh, great to hear your voice, Tim. I wish you were here because I'd send you on the hunt for the overlay that I'm missing. But uh, anyway, appreciate the good words. It was a great launch. Uh, can't tell you how much we wish you were here with us as well. Well, I'm sure you, you know that I feel the same way, but I definitely feel like I'm there in spirit, and uh, I'm especially looking forward to seeing Steve and Al go out the door and, and do great work. Copra has been working with his crewmates since his injury to help prepare Steve Bowen, his uh, replacement on orbit, to get ready for the spacewalks. And Copra will also be on the console during the spacewalks to uh, help direct his crewmates through the planned EVAs, which he helped to choreograph. On board the International Space Station today, a reboost of the station was completed using the ATV engines, the uh, automated transfer vehicle, which docked to the International Space Station just the day before. And then later this morning, Commander Scott Kelly and his crew members opened the hatch to the ATV to uh, get a look inside that uh, European Space Agency supplied a cargo vehicle. They will, over the course of the next three months, be emptying it of its uh, cargo of food and other supplies and ultimately fill it with uh, refuse and broken equipment for disposal when the ATV is undocked from the station and heads to a, a fiery demise over the Pacific Ocean in uh, 95 days.